This is Code Combat. I'm working on Computer Science 2, the JavaScript version of the course. Currently, I'm on the challenge or the concept challenge cleanup. Let's see. Concept challenge goals. Defeat the ogres. Visit all the red X marks. Okay. No code problems. This is a concept challenge. Use conditional if statements to check if enemies exist. Move to each red X mark. All right. At each X mark, check if an enemy exists. Ah, all these if statements. And defeat it if it does not exist. Oh, if it does exist, that makes more sense. The enemies are randomized, so you can't predict where they'll be. You must check. All right, let's start our concept challenge. Oh my goodness, that's intimidating. Nothing is here. So, move to each red X mark and check if an enemy is there. Our hero looks like it's starting down there. Now, remember, how do we know where the X marks are? How do we move to them? It doesn't want us just to write move up. There is an invisible X, Y graph behind this. Just like in math, when we look at a graph and X goes from left to right or horizontal and Y goes up and down or vertical, that's what's here. So if I hover the mouse over, it will give me the point on the graph where I am at. So X there is 35 and Y is 34. If you go way down here, you can just about find zero because that's the point of zero, zero. So we want to move to the X mark first. So I'm going to hover over here and it looks like X is 18, Y is 14. So I'm going to use this move X, Y method. Okay. So move X, Y, and I'm just going to click on it. Um, and now I need to delete X and put the number because we know the number X was, oh, now I already forgot. It looks like X is 18 and Y is 14. 18 and then Y I'm going to delete because Y is 14. Remember, X always comes first and then Y. So X is 18, Y is 14. So I should move to this point. Now, if an enemy def exists, defeat it before moving on. So I'm going to move to that point and then we're going to check if an enemy is there. So I'm going to say find the nearest enemy. And notice variable VAR stands for variable. This is like in math when we have X or a Y. So if X plus one equals three, X plus one equals three, then X must actually be equal to two. Well, if enemy plus one equals three, then enemy must be equal to two. Here, we're using a variable enemy, but we're not setting it equal to a number. We're telling, hey, hero, look around, find someone close. If our hero looks around and does not find an enemy close, enemy now equals nothing, right? If our hero does look around and find an enemy close, he gives them the new name enemy. Regardless, enemy exists to the computer. It could be undefined because our hero looked around, saw nothing, and said, up, oh, enemy equals nothing. Enemy is undefined. Or it could actually equal something, like an enemy. Also, like I said in math, a variable can be anything. I could set this equal to X, and that's fine. That's the name we're giving it. And now, let me keep going. I'm going to do an if statement. So it wants us to check. Oh, that's exactly what I want. If, and there we are. It defaults this to enemy, which would be handy, but since I changed my variable, I have to change it down here. If you left this as enemy, you could have left that as enemy, right? But I changed it to X. So if X exists, I'm going to say, well, what do we want to do? We want to attack. Not enemy anymore because I changed my variable. If you left it, you should leave it there. Attack X. Okay, so if you still had this as enemy, you need this X as enemy, this X as enemy, and this X as enemy. I'm just showing that you can have other things. Okay, so that should take care of our first part. And now let's go ahead and can I, does it matter what order? I guess we'll find out. I'm going to move to X 18 Y 54. Well, if I look up here, how did I do that? I'm going to start typing in move X. 18, which makes sense because it's a straight line. So the X down here would be the same number. You got to delete this X. X always comes first. And Y 
was 30. Oh, 54. Glad I double checked. Okay, once our hero moves there, I would like now again to look around to find an enemy. I've already made this for the computer. This variable x already exists. So I don't have to say var and create it. x, create it again. It exists. I just want to reassign it. I want to now use that variable and say, hey, x equals find, oops, hero, find nearest enemy. All right, so now our hero is going to look around and check for someone, check for an enemy. If our hero finds someone, x equals whatever that enemy is. If our hero doesn't, x equals nothing. x would be undefined. So now we're going to again check if x, uh, once again though, if you left this as enemy, all of this would need to be enemy. So if x, this is what shows us you need these brackets, curly bracket and curly bracket, because our, the computer is going to check if X is something, it will run whatever code is between the curly brackets. If X is nothing, if our hero looked around and found nothing, it skips all the code and just keeps running beneath it. So if X, and then I'm going to do attack enemy, I got to change that to X because I changed the variable. Attack enemy. I'm changing mine to X. Okay, I think I've proved my point with X. So I'm going to go back to their default. You can keep going with X if you want. You know what? I, I lied. Let's stick with it. All right. So X. However, if you had enemy up here instead of X and enemy here and here and here, then you need enemy here, 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 and here. Whatever you used as a variable. I used X. You might be using enemy. That was the default. All right, now we need to do it again. We're going to this point. And again, we're going to this point. So if, nope, move, same deal, hover it over. X is 62, Y is 54, X comes first. Now I'm gonna check. Nope, now I need to find an enemy. So X equals, and again, if you used enemy throughout, that would say enemy and not x. But when I made my variable at first, when I originally created it, I made it x instead of the default, which is enemy. Now I'm going to check if x, if that enemy thing I just made exists. And I need to close this. OK, so if x exists, if our hero looks around and finds someone, what do we want to do? Oh, attack. And I got to change mine to x. But if you left this as enemy, then all these x's should be enemy and attack. Okay. And then finally, I'm going to go way down here to x is 62, y is 14. 62 and y was 14. Same deal. I'm going to use x. My nearest enemy, our hero is going to look around. If they, if our hero sees someone, that enemy is new name is X. However, if our hero finds nothing, X equals nothing. I don't have to put VAR because I created it up here. It's already X is already there. If this is enemy, every X on my page should be enemy. All right? You can't just change variables. Now I'm going to check my X again, and I need to close that. So. Anything in between here and here will run if that is true. So attack X and go down a line again because ogres need two hits. Once again, though, if you left this up here as enemy, everything on your page should be enemy. Oh, well, all my X's. You see what it's highlighting, right? Or if you change this to Fred, everything that I have as X should be Fred. You need to keep it the same. All right, let's hit run and see if I did something right. This is looking good. So I'm going to hit submit. Excellent. Mission accomplished.